Hi there. For this uh, video, I wanted to go over just some basic 101 layering and rendering order. Uh, it's often confusing and people don't understand what happens if you don't do it right or whatever. So I just want to go through some basic steps, especially if you're creating your layout for the first time. Uh, you you want to look at, you don't know what groups to create or what order they should be in. So let me just go through this. Uh, I'm not going to get too in depth, but I just wanted to show you how things work here. So here's my uh, master view. I'm going to master view here um, and all the default ordering that I've got set up. I'm going to drop in the on effect. Nothing's fancy. On effect. So let me go to white. Here we go. And I'm going to bring the house model in just because it gets a little easier to see. So everything's white. Pretty obvious, right? Makes sense. Now I'm going to create another on effect. And just a tip there, you can drag from the bottom if you'd like, whichever is easiest. And this one I'm going to make red. So now you can see that I still have a couple of white items, but everything else is red. The lower in the uh, in the order here wins. So it's like painting uh, on a picture on a canvas. I painted everything white. And then I came over and painted everything in this group red. So you can see what pieces are no longer uh, are, are left white because they're not included in this group. Let's go another step further. We're going to grab this one and drag it in here and make this uh, next color over, make it green. So you can see that my whole house without the matrix and without the tree are green. So my whole house without the matrix and without the, ma the mega trees are, are painted green. So you have my green layer my red layer, my white layer. So I'm getting more specific. This one was everything, and now I'm dropping pro props off as I go down the list. Let's do a, let's do another one here. Um, let's go with uh, my no yard uh, down here. Uh, that one, make it shift click and make that one blue. So this is my whole house without the yard. So you can see everything now is blue. So that that wins because it's lower down the list. And we'll do um, my whole yard drop down here. So one would assume that it's going to be everything in the yard is now yellow. Um, if I have any mistakes, you'll find them. Oh, look at that. I left some items out here that are still green. So they're, maybe I want them to be in my whole yard. So I found some mistakes in my in my layout. So now I know I have to go back in there and fix that. That's fine. We'll do that. And so... This is, I call these like generic groups because it's the whole yard, the whole house, the whole thing. Now you might want to get into specific groups for props. For example, groups on my stars, on the trees. Let's drop an on effect on here. That will make that the next color over and that'll be like cyan color. And you can see now because it's the lower on the list, the, the cyan wins and it will color out. So it's again talking about painting a painting a painting or putting paint on a canvas. You start off with white, you paint everything white, then you put a little bit of layer on it, a little bit of red, a little bit of green, blue, yellow, cyan, etc. Now this is the stars on the tree. Let's go down to a prop. So let me go down. These are all my groups. You can tell they have a group little group icon. Let's go down to a prop, and I'm going to pick uh, ornament on the right. And I am going to, uh, we've got one more color. I just put that there, ornament right. And there we go. Make that the purpley pink color. You can see, again, it's lower in the list in the render order. So therefore it wins. It's gonna cover up the yellow, the red, the blue, the white, all the different colors that were behind it are now overwritten by this pink color. So that's the rendering. I'm gonna make this a little easier to see, edit my display elements little trick you can use here you can say hide your unused ones boom click close it shortens it all down you've got only the ones that have effects on it makes it really easy to see i'm going to double click this now it's going to show me the sub models there's just uh subtly uh indented just a little bit now i'm going to drop on a, an effect on the arms here again it's lower in the list in the render order. So now you can see, hopefully you can see in the video that the arms are now overwriting the pink cyan color or the pink purpley color and they win. And if you go another step further, I think we can go one step further. And if I scroll down, you can go to the strand level. You could go 
um, if I wanted to, I don't know, this is, let me just, uh, let me just stick an off effect on strand one. I don't know. It's going to look kind of weird, but I turned off the entire thing. We don't want that. Let's, let's go move it down to node one. So I don't know if you really tell, but node one would be off in this case. I think it's that dot right there is missing. So you can go right down to the node level if you wanted. Um, let's, let's delete that. I think that might be a little too confusing. So go back up here and you have all your sub models. Um, okay, so that's when it's in the right order. So what does it look like if it's not in the right order? So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save it here and I'm gonna call it my layer test. And now I'm going to um, create a new sequence and animation. Now, by default, um, and you check for another video on how I do this, but by default, I, I create this all in the right sort of order. I'm not going to do a sorted order. I'm going to do the default, default X lights order. That is basically somewhat random, a little bit of a mystery, but it creates them in a random order. I think it's the order that the props were created, but let's go with that. And um, so now they're in this random order and I'm going to import, import uh, the, the test I just did. And I'm going to auto map them over. And we're just going to show you what happens if you didn't take anything into account in terms of ordering. I'm going to again hide everything unused just to make it so it's easy to see. Hide them unused. And you can see they're no longer in that order where the, everything was at the top, very important. And they're just in a somewhat random order. So now if I click on this, um, this guy still works, but look at everything else is, let me render this. I'm a, like, there we go, green. Green wins because it's at the lowest level, but no, white wins because everything is at the very bottom. This means it's total garbage. It's not what you'd expect to see. You're not getting that nice layering effect. Um, it, it, simple fix, edit display elements. This is usually the right thing to do. You might want to tweak it, but you sort third option from the top. Third option to the top, remember that? Click on that. Click OK, and now you see them in pretty close to the right order. I might have tweaked mine, but it's a really good start. And I'm going to render, which is the paint palette. Again, we'd expect to see all of these colors. White, I got white, I got my red, I definitely got my green, I got my yellows, I got my blues, my cyan stars, my ornaments red, and my arms are butterfly. Bingo, right there, just making sure you have your render order set correctly. And, uh, oh, another step, just to confuse you all. If I add a layer on um, on a prop, they are ordered differently. Notice I have a butterfly effect. They, re they order it reverse. So let me annotate here. It renders down here when I'm doing the painting, but now it's going to render up when it comes to the individual prop. So now if I drop, if I drop the, uh, oh, let's say drop, um, I pick an effect here. Let's go bars effect. I think you should be able to see it. Bars effect on the arms. Um, oh, we got to choose some different colors. That helps if I choose different colors. There we go. We will lose the butterfly. And now we have the bars effect because now the bars effect wins over top the butterfly. I think this even better way to show that is if I change that to a spiral effect. And yeah, not sure that's really showing it up well, but you get the idea. Uh, it, this this top one will now beat out the butterfly. And let's put that back. You can see that it's no longer butterfly. It's the other way around. So we're keeping in mind it works from the bottom up. and But for the prop level and the group level, it's from the top down. Um, and you can see really clearly what gets painted. Make sure everything gets painted. Try to keep it short and sweet. Hopefully at least tweaks your mind saying, why does my display not look quite like the the other vendor? It could be the way it's rendered in the, in the order you have your props. The edit display elements is key. 
You can move them around using the arrow buttons, but your first step is probably the sort, sort by size. Hope that helps. Have a great day. See you in the Zoom room.